what's up everybody it's dread here today's video we're going to talk about trend lines the different types and how to draw them so trend lines trend lines are one of the oldest and most common forms of technical analysis used in forex trading and other trading as well you know um, people have been using trend lines for a very very long time to analyze charts it's one of the obviously one of the oldest forms uh, drawing and understanding the different types of trends should be one of the first things that you learn when you begin trading Forex. You know, it's like I said, it's one of the more basic things that you should know when you start trading. You know, it can be very easy to draw bad trend lines, you know, as you subconsciously are trying to make the trend fit into what you want and not what the market is showing. So, you know, you're kind of trying to draw the trend to kind of fit how you want the trade to go. So, you know, it's lining up with your analysis and that's not what you need to be doing. And a lot of people make those mistakes. You know, so today we're going to discuss, you know, how I draw my trend lines and the different types of trends that I am always aware of. So the different types of trends that you're going to see are uptrends, downtrends, range trend, the overall trend, major trends and minor trends. And so let's look at some examples of these. An uptrend is when price is moving in a bullish fashion. You know, you're going to have higher highs and you're going to have higher lows. Uptrend lines are drawn from the bottom of one major support area to another. So as you can see here, it's going to start here, another support area to another support area. You know, it's just going to continue up as long as there's an uptrend. So you're going to draw it from the bottom support um, point to the next lowest support point on the chart. So when you're drawing uptrends. Downtrends. Downtrend is when price is moving in a bearish fashion. Lower highs and lower lows. Downtrend lines are drawn from the top of one major resistance point to another. Just like you can see here in the example, from the top of this resistance point to this resistance point to this resistance point, and so forth, and so on and so forth. So you want to make sure you get it from the highest point of resistance to the next highest point of resistance on the chart to start drawing accurate trends. Range trends. Range trend is pretty much when the market isn't moving much up or down. It's kind of just a sideways market. Range trends generally happen at pivot points or critical price uh, zones in the market where, you know, they're collecting contracts and waiting to make a bigger move. So this is kind of just this example here where you kind of just see the market's just kind of wedging itself in a, in a straight line. It's not making a very strong move up or down. So, um, you know, these are critical points to be aware of when you start seeing the market do this because, you know, a major move is more than likely on its way. Overall trend is, you know, the long term trend of the market when looking at it from larger time frames like the monthly and the, monthly and the weekly. So, you know, that's going to be the, the trend that the pair has been on, you know, over the, the last weeks, the last months, the last years. You know, that's important to keep in mind of when you're trading, you know, especially if you're swing trading, of course. Current trend is the current trend of the market when looking at it from the daily time frames and lower depending on your strategy. So, you know, if you're kind of like an intraday trader, you want to make sure that you know your overall trend, but also your, your current trend that's going on through the day. You know, like you see in this example, the current trend on this four hour chart over you know the last you know couple days has been on a downtrend even though there's been some uptrends in it you know the current trend that it's on right now is a downtrend now let's talk about major trends and minor trends you know, major trends are the overall trend of the time frame for the chart you're watching depending on your strategy your major trend can correlate with your overall trend you know so if you're swing trading generally your major trend is correlating right along with the overall trend but if you're scalping, that may not always be the case. So minor trends are the smaller trends that form within a major trend. Minor trends can be used as extra confirmation for breakouts and movement within major trends. So we're going to kind of look at some examples of that now. So you see here how the major trend is overall bearish. But, you know, you kind of see that within that you get some range trends, but, you know, I like to call them minor trends you get minor trends up here and there 
within the overall trend, which is bearish. And for me, that's okay because I'm a scalper. So, you know, I pay attention a lot to the minor trends that are going on because I'm looking for breakouts of these trends, tests of the different uh, zones, retest to the different trend lines and things like that to enter, you know, scalp trades. So these are things that I pay attention to. So, you know, you can see here with this minor trend, you know, we broke and then the candle came right up back to the bottom of this trend and tested it and went down. And you can see on this minor trend here, this minor downtrend, we broke this and came right back up to the major trend and rejected it along with this minor trend that it formed for the, the bullish, the, you know, the minor bullish trend it formed heading back to the major trend. We got to the major trend and we rejected and then we broke this minor trend and you see this wick right here came right back up to the major trend and the minor trend and rejected and came right back down so you know that would have been a really good confirmation of a sell right there for me and i uh, probably more than likely did so that if i go back and look at my history but um yeah these are trends that i like to you know keep in mind when i'm looking and analyzing my charts especially when scalping you know five minute ten minute uh, i'm sorry not ten minute fifteen minute charts you know these are the the trend lines that i'm drawing major trends and minor trends so let's kind of talk about how i draw my trend lines you know i use the line chart to draw up my trends as it makes it much easier to see exactly where price opened and closed you know i never account for wicks when i'm drawing trends so you see here i use the line chart because you know you get a real crisp clean picture of where the price opened and where it closed you know, it's hard to draw trend lines on a bar chart because you've got wicks in the way, you've got the candles in the way, the corners, you know, they're bulky, they're big. So, you know, your 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 trend lines can be inaccurate, which makes your trading inaccurate later on. So I like to personally use the line chart to draw my trends. I think it makes them more accurate. And, you know, based off my strategy, it's working well for me so far. So you know, that's just a brief explanation on the different kind of trends, how I draw my trends, and yeah, so some tips for, you know, those that are getting into the market. You know, the more time price touches and fails to break a trend line, the stronger it becomes. You know, a lot like support and resistance um, levels. So when price breaks a strong trend, you know, eight times out of ten, that price will come back to test that trend line. So when trends break, they can be one of the best indicators to where price is going. But don't let the market play tricks on you. Wait for confirmation after a break before you enter a trade. So, you know, you're definitely going to want to go to the smaller time frames and start looking at candle patterns and wick patterns and things like that. Looking for rejection patterns before you enter a trade just because price broke a trend line. You know, the market will sometimes play tricks on you, break the trend and bring it right back. So don't get played. And knowing the overall trend can help you in analyzing the charts from smaller time frames as price may look bullish on 15 minute but it could be bearish on the daily so make sure when you are trading you do have in the back of your mind the the conscious of what the overall trend is on the chart for you know the larger time frames like the daily the weekly and things like that so thanks for watching you know, if you found this video at all helpful, then please leave a like, a comment, and also share it. You know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will continue to post educational videos and trade analysis from time to time. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at dread.pirate.forex. Have a great day, and this is Dread signing out.